All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone and a sincere Shalom to all you Akim bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And this lesson is going to be around, you know, uh, the Israelites and who have uh, hope in this society and ultimately hope in, uh, in a presidential um, uh, elect, man. You know, whether it be Trump. Whether it be Bi uh, Biden or because, you know, Jake likes to bring up the term. <clears throat> so like you like to bring up the term of, of someone who isn't in the Democratic or the Republican Party, you know, to see if they can, uh, you know, attach on to the lies that they're telling them a, and, um, and hope that that plan works, which ultimately the scripture says this in Sirach 34. And, and these are the, the people that, that this lesson is directed to, man, the niggas for Trump and the, the clowns for Trump. And the Latinos for Trump, you know, the the other clowns for Trump, man, thinking that this man is going to, you know, repair the dollar, that he's going to bridge, you know, that American dream back, you know, the the, the great white hope, so to speak. There's a Sirach 34 at the top. It says the hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false. And y'all that, that are siding with Trump are, are void of understanding and vain and false, man. Your hopes are uh, void of understanding, vain and false. And why so? Hey, because you ultimately don't understand the will of your Habashim El Shai. You think that this place is going to be repaired. You know that he's going to allow America to, to, you know, quote unquote, progress for another 20, 50 years. When, when the scriptures clearly tell you otherwise that hey, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Here it is. Donald, to Donald Trump told you at, a, um, you know, a, a, an election rally that he's not going to enforce um Central banking digital currencies, so CBDCs, man. He told you he wasn't going to enforce, you know, central banking digital currencies, which ultimately this uh, CBDCs is exactly the the, the same technology and, and bridge the next quote unquote uh, industrial revolution in which a the MOTB is going to be pushed on. So if he gets in, that's exactly what he's going to do. And how do we know? Because it's prophecy, man. Who can resist the will of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai? Not one, man. And the, these idiots forget that <laughs> no president has his own agenda over what the elites want, man. They are all under the same guidelines and, and, and running the same plan that the elites want them to push. How many times have they, they brought up these false dreams? Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make sure the American people have that. You know, this is going to change when I'm in office. And don't none of that shit happen. Every election year, it's like that. This is no different. It says, whoso regarded dreams is like him that catcheth at a shadow and followeth after the wind. It's going to be to no avail. Because in the end, what, what can you prove that's going to be caught? Because you can't catch a shadow. Right? And, and you following after a wind. Hey, eventually that wind is just going to die down and you're going to look stupid. Right? So let's let's get this. This is out of the book of Revelation 13 and verse 11. It says, And I, held, and I beheld another beast coming, coming up out of the earth. Right? Speaking of the, the ancient Roman Empire. It says, um, And he had two horns like a lamb. Right. And he spake as a dragon. So to break this down, it says two horns like a lamb. Hey, that represents two horns represents uh, two power structures, which um, were their ancient day plebeians, plebeians and patricians, so like you, which are now your modern day Democrats and Republicans. It says and he had two horns like a lamb. Right. So the appearance to the general public is that these two parties hey, were um, for the, the people, you know, whether it be the, the Republicans, the Democrats. The plebeians and patricians, say for the working class, for the, the 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 rich man, right? But these two horns, a were were essentially um, placed strategically to give you the illusion of choice, right? To make it feel as if you if your vote mattered, when clearly Esau tells you a that you, the popularity vote doesn't win, right? The 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 vote that wins is the electoral college vote, right? So it shows that even you voting within this system a doesn't doesn't change anything because there's been presidential elections in which uh, the popularity vote 
was given to one candidate, and that same candidate that got the popularity vote lost due to electoral college vote, right? It says, and he spake as a dragon, and that's what we're going to see very soon. Here it is, your, your presidential, uh, uh, you know, your president's elects are telling you, um, you know, peace is going to be in the land. I'm going uh, to establish this for, for the Americans. Hey, but it says, and he spake as a dragon, which represents draconian rule. Harsh rigor. When you go back into that ruler Draco, um, he set up laws. He set up um, <clears throat> statues, basically Satan. Anybody opposing his will and reign, they were to be judged uh, harshly, tortured and, and put to death. Right. So it's telling you he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. And that's exactly what you're going to see soon. You're going to see the draconian laws. And you already have uh, foreign troops on American soil. And you already see that the dollar a, uh, has been left by Saudi Arabia. You know, the petrol dollar. So, so the change in time is happening, man. And it's only a matter of time a, before Yahab Bashim al allow more hell to come upon this place. This place is one false flag away from shutting down again. Because once that happens, the troops is going to be activated, man. Checkpoints are going to be set up. And life as you know it is going to change, much like it did during the demic, man. All right? There's another precept I want to grab out of the book of Isaiah, the 36th chapter. In the sixth verse, and it reads, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. And that's what Jake is doing. They're trusting in a system that never benefited them. You know, you're, you're putting your hopes and dreams into a system that constantly oppresses you, hoping that. Uh, uh, you're going to get a different result. That's insanity. And that shows you how powerful the image of the beast is, man. Right? So it says that trust us in the staff of this broken reed, which is uh, a support system, right, on Egypt. It says, world, if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. Right? So all that trust in, in the, the, the world leaders or your uh, American president. That's going to be a detriment, man. It's going to be a downfall. And I want to close out with this in the book of Psalm 17. It's like a Jeremiah 17. Um, and 7. Because this is where your hope should lie. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and whose hope the Lord is. Because that's the only thing that matters, man. Your faith and where you stand with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai at the end of days. Because ultimately, if you're not one of his, AD you're going to be destroyed. If you don't believe in him, hey, if your faith isn't strong enough to contend and fight within these days hey, and strive, hey, even if it means death hey, with him against the, uh, the, the so-called uh, popular mindset or the, the, um, the, the, if you believe in the image of the beast, bowing down into the image of the beast and receiving his mark, hey, then you're going to be destroyed. But those that are fighting for him, hey, with him is everlasting life. Hey, Lord willing, we be of that number, man. But, you know, I just wanted to bring this lesson out to the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yahweh and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.